And we're live, and we're back. I always get the you're live whenever my phone disconnects and I reconnect. Like it's... It's excited that I'm live again after you continually disconnect me for no reason. Let's ask these people about GMOs and chickens. I'm doing well, thanks. How are you doing? We're doing really great. We've got right on. dinner. We're serving you do. Up if you'd like some. Gosh, that you know. It's our chicken sausage. Have you had golden plum chicken before? I have. It's really tempting, and I'm, you know, I'm I'm live on YouTube. Oh, nice. Hey, everybody. How you doing? Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Um, what are your what are your viewpoints on GMOs? On what? GMOs and organic. Like, what's the difference between the two? Between the two? Yeah. Uh, that well, that's uh. Well, I know it's a certification thing. Okay. And I know like genetically modified organics are, you know, I know in like the produce realm or the vegetable fruit realm, it's a pretty common thing. Sure. But like, what is, what is it, what do you, you want me to explain the difference to you? Do you well, know what the difference is? I kind of do, and I am a flat earther. Okay. And I'm part of a conscious community that is leaning more towards being vegan. And it is challenging for me. To be vegan. Oh, yeah. Um, it's tough. Yeah, it really is. And to watch some of the videos in regards to how that product gets put into a sausage-like form, it can be challenging to continue to eat animal with how they slaughter the animal in general. And that's just... Yeah, generally speaking. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there are there are facilities out there that, you know, where videos of people have gone in and made yeah. videos and all that. And we take pride in the fact that our chickens are all, they all come from family farms. Okay. We do things very responsibly. Uh, we work with a network of family farms in the state of Minnesota. And uh, our products are all made with the chicken that we raise here in the state of Minnesota. Okay. Yeah. Do you, yeah, what's up, man? Two questions for you. Yep. Are you against GMOs then? Uh, I try to do my best not to take in items that are GMO. Personally, I don't go to like processed foods, fast food, stuff like so that. you don't eat them, but you're not against them? Uh, no, I'm not against them. No, I'm not here to promote like don't ever do that type of deal. Right. But I do it for me my own personal choice It is challenging to step away from the meat idea and go more vegan um, I'm talking like organic vegan one because I mean so many crops are GMO. Yeah, like, well corn is 100% now. Yeah, yeah. Corn and soy I means the two biggest crops in the world. Yep. Without GMOs, everyone start them, so. Uh, I don't necessarily agree with that, oh, but yeah. Well, it is. Okay, so well, got to make things some things drought resistant and okay insect resistant. So you're all familiar with like Monsanto and everything and what their agenda is and has been. Well, I'd say I'm familiar with them, but I don't exactly know their. Okay, so they agenda specifically. Yeah, their agenda is part of the uh, Agenda 21, Agenda 2030 idea, and they have Terminator seeds that they sell to third world countries. And terminator seed means that it can sprout once, but it will not give off another life in its next second life, you know, to like pollinate and whatnot. So then that third world country needs to rebuy seeds again. And I just, I, I think that's, and then those seeds are GMO'd and I don't agree with that. So, okay. yeah. Is that like on their website that it says that? Well, if you do your own personal investigation about such a th idea and thought, you might come to your own conclusion. That's just where I've okay. gone to. Right. But are, are these chickens, like, do they have, uh, how do I say, antibiotics and whatnot? Antibiotic free. No Never? Hormones. Okay. Yep. <coughs> we don't give them antibiotics. We don't give them hormones. Okay. So, did you know that, like, in this, I'll leave you guys alone here in a second, but um, for a company to say that it's geo or antibiotic free, if there's a particular, like, 48 hour or 72 hour uh, period be before they're not given antibiotics and then they are slaughtered, that's legal to say. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, so okay. so never, ever, ever are these... Well, I don't know. No, I'm not, I'm not saying never, ever, ever. I'm okay. just saying that it's not... It's not added. Okay. Yeah. But you don't know 100%. What's that? You don't know 100% whether these chickens have been given antibiotics or not. And hormones and all that stuff. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Hey, what's up, man? Yeah. You believe the world is flat? Uh, yes, sir. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, well, water doesn't curve. Okay. And gravity is not real. Okay. Yeah. All right. 
Um, I do but have you a jump. What happens then? Do yeah, you I do have. Well, you weigh more than the air around you. Okay. Yeah, and that's just density. That's all it is, man. They in school they teach us one viewpoint. It's very dogmatic, in my opinion. And one view, they teach you one viewpoint in school, and that's dogmatic. They teach you a fact. I don't think a fact is dogmatic. Okay, so they take creation out of schools and teach evolution, and they teach that outer space is real. You're saying that evolution is fake now, too? Yeah, mm -hmm. yep, evolution is 100% fake. I am Christian, yep. Mm -hmm. okay. so you're a creationist? Uh, well, I believe that the biblical God created the earth so in six literal days, yeah. What, like, what, they, what do you say, 5,000 years old or something? Uh, I don't know, I, I, I haven't been around when it was created, so I don't know. Oh, okay. So you believe that the earth is flat because the density of the air? No, I believe that the earth is flat because the picture that I'm showing you right here is 130,000 feet at the top, and there's no drop off or curvature being shown. Okay, That's and. The top of Mount Everest, do you know how high Mount Everest is? Yeah, so the, yeah, the curvature of the equation that mainstream science gives us is 8 inches per mile squared. Yeah, yeah, I'm aware of that. Okay, and at 35,000 feet or so, we should see curvature and a drop off, and I don't see one in okay. either of those top two pictures. That's all I'm saying, man. You know? So that makes you think the world is flat, Uh, that and water doesn't curve, man. Okay. Does water curve? Does water curve? Yeah, yeah like, I mean, on an ocean, does it curve? Sure, absolutely. Okay, so if you see an object 50 miles away and you see it go over the, quote, horizon, are you telling me that you can't bring that object back into focus by using a high-powered zoom lens or camera? Um, depending on the distance and what ocean you're talking about. Okay, well it doesn't matter because water is always flat and okay. so when finds its level. So when you look at pictures of outer space then, yeah. do you believe in that? I mean, how do you, do you think that all the pictures of the Earth are fake? Uh, I do because, is Have that a picture of a real satellite from outer space? Have you ever heard of the International Space Station? Yeah, the ISS is also a fraud. Do you yep. think that's fake? Yep. That's interesting. Are you familiar with what a zero, uh, a vomit comet is? A vomit? I've never heard of that. Never heard it before. It's actually a, an airplane that simulates zero g gravity, and all three of us could probably go on it for a couple hundred bucks, since it oh, could. Oh, is this like one of the things that trains astronauts? Yep. Okay. Yeah. Oh, are astronauts fake too? Uh, they're actors and they're astronauts. Yeah, they're not. Astronauts. <laughs> yeah. Astronauts. They're actors. Are you familiar with a shadow clock? Do you know what that is? Uh, get from uh, my viewers might not know, and I don't know. So if you could so explain to I, us. So if I stick a stick in the ground right <laughs> yeah. now. Mm -hmm. The sun creates a shadow, right? Okay. This is like how the first societies in the world tell sure. time, found out how to tell time. Okay. So if I stick a stick in the ground right now, actually you're standing here, you can yeah. get a stick. You have a shadow, right? <laughs> okay. Um, this shadow is going to move, yes or no? Uh, as the sun gets further and further away from Minnesota, yeah. Okay, so where, where does the sun, if the earth is flat, is the sun flat? Uh, the sun and the moon are just lights in the sky. They're lights in the, from what? And they're localized lights. What does that mean? What do you mean? Uh, it means that the moon is not 93, uh, the moon is not 239,000 miles away, and the sun so is the not 93 real, million right? miles the away. It's real though, right? It's a light in the sky, yep. Is the moon a sphere? Uh, the moon is not a physical object that can be landed on, and it's just a light in the sky, man. Okay, what about the star? Uh, no, there's not, a, not, our, not, our, not our, the sun, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's a localized light. It's a localized light. Yep. So, I feel like you don't really know what you mean when you say that. Uh, I mean that they tell us that the sun is 93 million miles away, I've never seen a picture of the sun. and it's not. When you look at pictures from other planets from outer space, they're CGI. Yep. They're they're CGI. Yep. Okay. All right. Okay. okay. I mean, if you how do you explain time zones? Uh, I I don't know everything, man. Okay. I'm not here to say that I know everything. You're here to say. You're I'm here to, to provoke thought. You're here to claim that the and Earth challenge the narrative that we live on a ball and we don't. Yeah. They're everywhere. Yeah, sorry. I mean, does so this look like a real so picture of a uh, uh, outer uh, satellite from outer space, dude? No, that absolutely does not. Okay, if you Google image satellites in space, all you get are absolutely not real. They're all CGI, man, and so is outer space. It's, it's all not. CGI. When you look at the stars, what's that? Lights in the sky, man. What are the lights from? Uh, space might be water, and they're just vibrations and frequency. <laughs> yeah, I know this is really damaging everything that we're taught in school, it's and that's why I'm here. It's, it's not wrong. From space, okay, have you ever been to space? No. Okay, so that's I'm faith. An astronaut. So that's faith. <laughs> no, actually, I, and you're taking I, I, somebody's I, I, word for no, it, you know, right? You're right. I am having faith in science. You're right. Yeah, I've heard that before. I have a friend. Yep. Family friend. Mm -hmm. Who have you ever have you heard of 
heard of Richard Branson? Right? I'm sorry? Richard Branson? You've heard of Richard Branson? Richard Branson. Just... Of Virgin... Okay, yeah, yeah, yep. Virgin Airlines, yep. Virgin Mobile, yep. Virgin Atlantic. He has a program like where he has flying people uh, to space. Okay. And this is going to, I don't know what it's going to, I think it keeps getting pushed back. Yeah, what a coincidence. But they always say that they're going to travel this outer space and it keeps getting pushed back. I mean, okay. have traveled outer space. Though. Okay. Well, in your, if, if you believe what you're being told, yes. Okay. Um, then you, quick side note then, you believe that the moon landing is fake, obviously. 100%. 100% yeah. fake. Mm -hmm. Where did the rocket go? Uh, what do you mean? I don't know. I wasn't there. I didn't the see it. If you had to take one guess as someone who believes that the world is flat, where did the rocket go? Probably just back into the water, back the ocean. Back into the water that's above us right now? Uh, well, no, but back into the ocean where it lifted off. Back into the ocean where it lifted off? Yep. What about all the people that were there? Were they brainwashed? Were they paid? To How do you know? You weren't there. So, I was not there. Actually, so we don't know. Videos, there, is, there is videos of it. There are, and they may have all been actors. How do you know that they weren't all actors? I, b I believe that they were not actors. Okay, well, how do you know that? Because they do have a pretty how do you know big. That I don't. I'm just saying. I'm giving you another perspective that they might have all been actors. That's all. Interesting. It's very interesting. I do have a YouTube channel, and I am live right now. It's yeah. called Authentic Intent. Authentic Intent. Authentic Your Intent. Intent is authentic. Uh, I believe that I am sincere about my message, and I feel I do a fairly decent job at yeah, presenting, agree. like, I agree. challenging I mean, the narrative. But I don't know everything. I, obviously. You know, I don't want to either. I don't want to know. Want to know Everything either, yeah. So if you knew 100% that the, that the Earth is flat, then you wouldn't? Would you still be out here then? Uh, I feel that there's more evidence to show that the Earth is flat and motionless and not a ball like we're taught, yeah. Oh, so you don't believe that the Earth moves at 3,000 whatever miles an hour? It doesn't because it's uh, it rotates at 1,000 miles an hour. So yeah. it is motion. That uh, is it's, that's never been measured that we're spinning. Do you feel us spinning right now? Uh, no. Okay, because of the theory of relativity, right? Which is a theory and it has never been proven. Um, this is a theory too, correct? Gravity? Yeah, no, it is. I was talking about the flat earth theory. No, it's actually more true than us living on a ball. That's all I'm saying, man. I really don't. Wow, well, okay. Yeah. All right. Where do you How old are you? Information from? 18. 18? Um, twice your age, and I'm not saying that to boast. I'm just saying that I have been on a, quote, conspiracy trail for just investigated such topics and ideas longer and this is where it's led me and I've separated time. myself from mainstream media and the news oh, okay. All right. so so you just shelter yourself to your conspiracy theory news uh, no not 100% oh, you just said that you shelter yourself from mainstream news yeah I, I do okay. question their narrative and the information that they give us okay so you have no idea what the mainstream news is talking about then or sci mainstream science news then uh, I do have a pretty good idea of what they're talking about sheltering yourself from the mainstream news no, I'm, I'm not believing in what they're telling us like you and your friend here might be. That's all. Oh, okay. All right. I, 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 I wouldn't... The wording was confusing, I'm sure. Sure. Yeah, no, that's okay. I'm, I don't pronounce 100%. I try to give off my information as concise as I can, and sometimes okay, I top make a safe... Uh, space is fake. Okay. Gravity's not real, and water doesn't curve. Yeah. How do you know space is not... How do you know it's fake, though? Like, I don't get how you know that. I just showed you an image of a satellite in space that's CGI, and if you Google Earth from space, that's also CGI. Boy, what about... And it's admitted that it's photoshopped. It's admitted that it's... What about all of the astronauts? What would right. you say to them? What if they were here talking to you? I would tell them that they're a liar. Oh. Yeah. I and think, up, I think have, they should take you up to space. Have, to see have you ever Googled... Have you... have you ever Googled the YouTube video called... A strange thing happened on the way to the moon where a guy actually in interviews astronauts like Neil Armstrong mm -hmm. and he challenges their narrative and they get basically somewhat terrified that he's they're even being presented you know with why they got terrified because they're liars no no they got terrified because they're realizing that maybe there are people I'm not yeah people probably like you uh -huh. in our world that don't believe that what they're doing is for a good cause. You don't even believe in it in the first place. Yeah. It was such a big deal. Yeah, it's not. It's a lie, man. It's such a big deal. Did have you know that been, those... Have you ever been on an airplane? Yep, I have. Yep. Okay. Um, would airplanes fall off the edge of your flat Earth? Uh, what, what if would, the Earth was would, infinite? The Earth is infinite. Yep. But if I... Theor oh, God. See? Okay. If I yep. ran, if I ran right now, yep. I ran straight that way, I would come back here. Yes or no? Uh, no. Why would you? 
Uh, circle, a circle, a circle like a it's okay, a circle like a pizza no, or a, a ball. Sphere. Okay, yeah. It's a sphere. So you're taking that on faith because you have not done that yourself, though, right? Have you done it? No, I haven't. But I, just I think this is just very pretentious of you to come out here and say that the Earth is flat. Yep, it is. Yep. Yeah, it is. So you know how uh, space is? They tell us is expanding to infinity. Um. Yes, it's getting colder and colder. Yeah, right. to an extent, right? I mean, there's theories that it's... At, yeah, <coughs> yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. So, what if we were to flip the coin and say that space is fake and the earth and water go infinitely? And they're holding that information so away from us? So, there's no... So, there's no way that our whole earth has been... Oh, sure, yeah. <laughs> step right up, man. Okay? Yeah, step oh, yeah. right up. So there is no way that if the Earth is infinite, if the Earth is flat and infinite, there is no way that we have discovered all of it. Right. Uh, maybe they're holding that information from us. Oh, they're holding oh. that information from us. So are there all these, like, societies throughout the world that are just, like, living and we haven't... We've discovered them, but they haven't been released to the mainstream media yet, and so we don't know about them? I don't know, man. I'm just oh. provoking thought and challenging that maybe they are holding more land and resources from us, yeah. What's up, man? Too How you doing? Much, um, yeah. Science. Yeah, it's yeah. scientism, yeah, you're actually. About grilling and chicken. I mean, what's, yep. what's grilling? Yeah. You want coupons? No, thanks, man. I'm trying to. I'm really. It's struggle, but I'm trying to go vegan. You know. Oh hell no, man. Yeah. Hell no. Yeah. Have you ever seen how some of these animals are slaughtered and I turn really into? That way, man. I mean, it's not okay. good to do it, but you can't stop everybody. Oh, I can. I'm not trying seven to. And a half yeah, it's just. There, but how do you know that there's seven and a half billion people? There's three million. Okay. I mean, steak is a steak. okay, sure, yeah, a steak that's, moment. yeah, it's your opinion, yeah. but, and it's my opinion to express it, and I would fight for your right to say whatever you want on public property, so. Yeah. I agree with that, absolutely. I think uh, this is great that you're out here right now doing this. Good, good. So. You look good. Just an opinion, don't get me wrong. You look amazing, too. Thank yeah, you. She <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she does. Yeah, she does. Yeah, right on. All right, man. Well, yeah. stay healthy. Yeah, you too, man, and uh, research Flat Earth, okay? Not good being abusive yeah. to animals, but a steak is a steak, man. You can't. Okay, well, <laughs> on my flat Earth, I'm trying to move towards the idea of not eating steak. You're so, missing out. I, well, I have eaten meat for decades, and it's just a new idea that I've kind of come across recently that uh, maybe I should, you know, move towards more of a vegan diet. But that's just my opinion, you know. So. Do you think that the human uh, race was created to eat flesh from animals? Okay, well that's yeah, wrong, there's and there's more information to show yes. that our teeth were created to be herbivores and not carnivorous. Well, so. we both, well, you don't okay. Yeah, we don't evolve, man. Stop eating chicken. Uh, imagine how human species were only the twelfth that's been, and we're just the longest to survive. And we will die out. So. so why are why are there monkeys if we've if evolution is true, why are there okay, some monkeys? Okay, 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 hold on. Hold on yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So, Homo sapiens. Yes. We are the 12th version of the Homo I got yours, sapiens. Man, here. Where did you get that information from? Well, she was asking me where I get mine, so... I don't, I don't understand where you get your information from. No, Just YouTube and the internet, that's yeah. Fair. The internet, that's yep. it? Where am I supposed to get my information from? Like, how, did you well, just I mean, but I'm, I'm asking you. Uh, this is a sincere question. If you're if you're questioning why I get my information from the internet and YouTube, where do you get yours that helps you be informed? Everything, books, everything. Okay. That's great. Also and the internet, like you just said. And and so if I get my books, you, go to and for a reason. you get it, you go to school because school is used to make a prison for your mind and not make you critically think, and give you one narrative. So, oh wow. Yeah. Hey, do you know. What Here's a question for you. Yeah, why what's up? Was, why was education, and specifically higher education, created in the first place? Are you familiar, also second question, with a Jesuit education, what that means? Yeah, I do connect. Oh, absolutely. So, hang on a second. Um, one more time, repeat it, I'm sorry. Um, why uh, higher education, specifically, yeah. was created in the first place, mm -hmm. um, starting with the Greeks, and why, or, and what a Jesuit education means. What does that mean? Uh, Jesuit... why, is that, why is that still a thing in our world today? Why is there so many collegiate uh, uh, institutions that promote that? Yeah, so in my opinion, the Jesuit order and the occult side of education is used as a means to promote a second viewpoint that mainstream students who go to public school are not taught. Oh, so it's a good thing? Uh, no, it's not a good thing because oh. it's a cult. Okay. Yeah. Your, are you involved in a cult? Uh, no, I'm not. What is the definition of a cult to you, then? 
uh, I don't know, man. I'm just okay. a flat earther, man. Right. And I'm just challenging the narrative. Right. That's all. Um, give me an example of a few cults then. So Jesuit, uh, a Jesuit group education, that's a cult. Uh, in Jesuit my opinion, education. that they, they are teaching people things that we're not taught. Like what? Well, the earth being flat? They're not, wait, wait, hold on, they're not, Jesuits don't teach that the earth is flat. How do you know that they don't teach that? In their movies and whatnot? Do you, in their do movies, you, no, I mean, did I, you know I that there's, know. I'm just saying that in movies and TV, uh -huh. over, since the television has been introduced, right. <laughs> they do use predictive programming to, say, the establishment. I'm talking about Jesuit collegiate education right now. Yeah, but I'm saying so that I, when those people graduate from those colleges, okay. they are put into position to create movies that would promote wow, ideas. No, I, I know it is. Okay. But did you know uh, that 15 years before 9-11 happened that there are multiple TV shows and movies that would suggest? Oh yeah, it's all over Twitter. They're memed out. Yeah. Heck yeah, the Simpsons whole deal with it. I think we made chicken guys leave. So, Flat Earth win. Goodbye, chicken guys. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for the dogs. Those were great. See you later. That was... They're yeah. Great people. Good, good people. Yep. Um, so I was well. I was just talking about um, what it means, what education has meant, and what it means, and it has meant, and maybe it has changed a little bit, which is too bad. But I think what the Jesuit in specific um, still tries to preach is how to think. And okay. To love to learn. Yeah. To learn. Yeah. But it and sounds like you're very close-minded about me sharing the Earth being flat. Because I, 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 I there is. Okay, well, I would have to disagree, and it just sounds like you please, haven't investigated. Please explain. No, I really, I really have. Um, so, it, what time is it right now? Uh, I don't know. It's like 7.20. Okay. Okay, so, um, what time is it in New York? Uh, what is it? It's 9. 9? Yeah, okay, yeah. And then in California? It's 6. six 20, uh, 5. Yeah, yeah 5. five and then 20. 6 in yeah. Colorado. And then Australia, Europe, what, Europe, also Europe is like... Yeah, it's 8.20 in New York. Eight hours ahead. Yeah. And then Australia is, what, 13, no, 14, 15, 13, 14, something like that. I think it's 13 from New York, so probably 14 years. Okay. Okay, why is that, why is that a thing? Why is the sun, okay, well, we measured this off of the sun's height and the amount of light in the sky, correct? Would you agree with that? I'm sorry? We measure these, what time it is, uh -huh. based on the sun's position in the sky. Uh, to an extent, yeah. Mm -hmm. To an extent. Yep. Would with the that's with most of the extent. Well, I'm saying that the algorithm that they give us about the Earth being in circumference of 24,000 miles. <laughs> I'm not talking about algorithms. I'm not talking about. Well, um, but that does make sense, though. If the Earth is 24,000 mm -hmm. in miles in circumference, and this it takes 24 hours for light to travel around, that's how we get our rotation of the yes. Earth is 1,000 miles, okay. right? Okay. 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 So are we good? I mean, yeah. I mean, okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. the, the position of the sun in the sky. Sure. Therefore, the amount of light that is shown throughout the day mm -hmm. is how we tell time. Okay, yeah. Okay, good. Why is it different times throughout the world? Uh, if you go to my YouTube channel, Authentic Intent, I have links in the description below, okay. and there are people who would better be able to explain such a thing, because I'm not necessarily here to, quote, have a lengthy debate. I'm just here to just... provoke thought okay, and well, challenge you. Yeah. Question. Give me the gist of that. What, why are there time zones, different time zones? Then? Why does the sun move in the sky? Why are there different time zones throughout the world? Because the moon is, the sun is moving, man, when and the Earth look, is big. I mean, well, how do you explain eclipses? How do you explain lunar eclipses, solstices? How do you explain? Yeah, I can't. Um, I'm not here to explain everything, dude. Okay. I'm well, just these here. These are all things that happen. They are things that, that happen. Right? Yeah. Okay. And there might be a dark entity called Lilith, which is a dark moon, which may give you an idea Sorry, yeah like Lilith God. a dark moon okay. or a dark type entity yeah it's a name yes, but there might like be a, a yeah but there might be a dark uh, object that's hiding the moon at times when it is in its eclipse days it's like a dark thing in the in the water <laughs> of space that we can't see uh, maybe yeah okay, cool. <clears throat> did um, you know that the moon is transparent though no you can't see through the moon yeah you can yeah yep. Okay, have you ever seen images where people are seeing through the moon? Nope. Okay, well then, we'll just agree to disagree until you last investigate. Night, did you look up the moon? I'm sorry? Did, did, last night, did you see the moon? Yep. Big moon, full, yeah. full moon. It was beautiful, wasn't it? Yeah, it, it was. 
Would you agree that that was a circle? Uh, yeah, it is a circle, and it's not, the light from the moon is not produced by the sun. Okay, but the light from the moon, meaning there is light bouncing off of the moon and reflecting on us, correct? Yeah, the moon is emitting its own light. Okay, yep. so the moon is a definite circle in the sky then, correct? Yeah, sure. Okay, so then we can safely assume that there are... Okay, first, wait, why is it a circle in the sky? Why? It's a, a circle, it's a pizza-type object. Is everything else circles in the sky then? It's like a pizza-type object, it's flat. It's, it's, it's so it's, it's like this phone. If uh -huh. my phone... If my phone was a circle, the moon would be like that. Are we playing volley circle or volleyball? I have no idea what that is. I'm means. saying that you gotta differentiate between a circle or a sphere. I know, I am telling you a circle right now. Okay, so I a flat, a flat plane. A flat plane in the sky. Like yeah, it might this. be. Yeah, the moon, yep. Okay, what's keeping it there? I don't know, man. I don't know, I wasn't here when it was created, man. It, you weren't here, well, obviously. No one was Were you? So oh, what is, what is keeping up, what is, absolutely. in your opinion, what is keeping it up there? Well, gravity. Okay, gra gravity isn't real. Creating a sphere. Okay, well, gravity isn't real, so. How does okay? How does how does outer space create a circle? I don't. No, gravity, or, gravity is a force in our universe. It's not proven, man. It's a theory. You do know that, right? Everything is a theory. Though. I'm just saying the theory of relativity and gravity is yes, a theory. But it works. That's the point. No, it doesn't work. How does it work? Because something that weighs more than the air around it. That's well, you the know that there's something else there. No, that's just if a, I weigh more than the earth or the the uh, air around me, and I jump and I get pulled back down instantly based on my mass and my distribution. Oh, oh sorry, man. Then why do I come back to you? There is something else there. There Does doesn't the there doesn't have to be something there, something man. There doesn't have to be something there. there. Does, because why do I come back down? Because you weigh more than the air around you. Clearly, I weigh more than. Yeah, so that doesn't make it. That doesn't mean you can call it something. That doesn't mean you can call it gravity. Do you know where the term gravity came from? Where does the term? I I don't. I will okay, not, I sure. Don't, no. Outer space okay. and the core of other planets. They were trying to measure it. Yeah. And that's how we come up with our idea of the solar system. Yes. And the sun is is creating the massive amount of gravity, yeah. and that's why we're revolving around it. Yes, we are. But that has never been proven. How can you measure something in outer space? and then measure the same experience here on a atmosphere called Earth. Fair point. Okay. When you look up at the sky at night, do you know, do you notice that there is a light which appears to be a star, similar, very similar to a star that moves around? You can follow it. Yeah, it's a wandering star. You can yep. follow it. It's called a wandering star. Okay, what is that? It's a wandering star, what is that? What does that mean? Uh, it just means it's a light in the sky that's moving so it's independently. Not, it's not the International Space Station. Uh, no. Just it's a light in the sky, man. Where, uh, okay, what about, okay. You know about math, right? Okay, math. Yep. Um, and an uh, application, okay? Application of math. Of, of your phone. So oh, if an some, app on my phone. Yeah, an app on your phone. Okay. okay, so if somebody was to make the ISS app for your phone and they punched in an algorithm mm -hmm. of the math of the light in the sky that you see that they call the ISS and then they input that into your phone okay. and it's used by the quote GPS of the ground yep. where you're located, it will be able to tell you where that light in the sky will be on a particular date, right? So, if uh, they were to able to manipulate okay. with math, which is a language... It is a language, absolutely. Okay. Yep. They the can use that to manipulate what that light in the sky may or may not be. And if they see a, a, a wandering star in the sky, what if NASA claimed that light and called it the ISS? And then, using an algorithm, put that into your phone. Oh, so you're saying that GPS is real then. <laughs> this is a good point. How does GPS work? Yeah. GPS works by ground positioning systems. How yeah. Does phone, how do phone calls work? I mean, it, do you know that ISS uses green screens and harnesses in the vomit comet? Okay. So you it's can not. Feel yeah, definitely. Something. Um, something just give me a moment. I do have some information. Oh boy. Okay. I got a lot of information in that my part. Actually, yeah, right here. Sure. That that guy right there. He does some pretty good. Uh, Flat Earth Smarts. Yep. Flat Earth Smarts episode thirteen. He does some pretty. Pr I was gonna look it up. Okay, cool. Um, well... Why do you say NASA's fake? Uh, because they're providing us with fake images of outer space. How do you know they're fake, though? I just showed you one picture of a satellite in outer space. Exactly, you showed but us think, one picture. Yeah, you that's showed the us one picture, though. Yeah, like, that's, that's the best picture that I could find. Let me... Here. 
Yeah, really type in satellites in space. I would love to. Find a real picture of a satellite that's to. not a model or CGI, and I'll buy you both dinner tonight. Well, yeah. We just had to, we had free dinner because of the chicken. Oh, that's dinner. right. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll buy you guys coffee or iced coffee or something. Oh, that'd be nice. Yeah. I am a fan of cold brew. I am too. Do all the people on your channel like agree with you, or are there people that disagree? Uh, or, like, no, there's some people that disagree, some people that challenge, some people... Mm -hmm. Do you like reply to them, or is it... Yeah, I do. I actually, I try to stay up to date with what they're saying. Helioskeptic. Okay. Uh, the troll children must be bored. How is everyone? I, I mean, I can show you right here. <laughs> How many people are watching this right now? Uh, 162. How many subscribers? What? Uh, I just got over a thousand a couple of days ago. Oh, that's uh, yesterday, cool. actually. Did you do like a thank you video? Uh, I kind of did. I mean, we went to Lake Harriet, and I had a Groundhog's Day edition, and coincidentally enough, had a really interesting time. Because the day before, YouTube cut my three-hour-long video down to two minutes. Oh. The three-hour video down to two <laughs> minutes. Down to two minutes, yep. Why did they do that to uh, pff, That's a good question, man. And so I did a Groundhog's Day edition yesterday because mm -hmm. I thought it was funny to, like, go back and do the same thing I did the day before. Right. You know, and it uh, turned out really well. I ran actually ran across some kids that I met the day before, and they were challenged, and they questioned the narrative. You able to find a... Yeah. Have people been challenging you here today? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. I mean, this guy's challenging for sure. I don't know all the answers, <laughs> but that's a model. This yeah. is a model? Yeah, that's a model, yeah, that's man. A model. Yeah. You know about this one? There's green screens in the background, man. Oh, can you see the green screen? How do you, yeah, how do you know that? You just gotta use your discernment and just understand what CGI did you, and... Did you go to like a public school growing up then? I did, yep. I graduated in Buffalo High School yep. here yep. in 99. Okay. Yep. So did, did yeah. you have this like theory when you were back then too? Yeah, not even, no, nope, not this. even at all. No. Mm -mm, I believed everything that you guys believe right now. What made you believe this? Uh, I saw a video called 200 Proofs the Earth is not a spinning ball. Right. Um, I might have a... Is that like what made you turn oh. to like believe that then? Uh, it made me question things. Yeah. It made me question. Yeah. yeah. And then it took me just over a year to get to the point where I'm at now. Right. Okay. <coughs> I can't tell if they're real or not. I know, right? I mean, it's just... It's it should be blatantly obvious that they're real, but it's difficult but people, to... people... People... Well, you can yeah, go to NASA. Yeah, I don't think NASA has any public images. I mean, I agree. There's probably no legit... Yeah, I would agree with that. Then what kind of people are actually real photos? Okay. Well, the thing is, growing up, I wanted to be an astronaut. Yeah, I did too, and I, I'm with you guys. But I feel like being here and openly advocating this kind of advertisement... Unbelievable, but are actually real pictures. And it just use your discernment so when you see this. Yeah, I mean this article, here's a real picture for you. Sure, yeah, that's not real. Okay, how do you know that? How do you know that though, yeah. That's not a real picture, man. Because the ISS is not real. But what... I mean, I know, no, I, know. I, I, I know, man, I just, I know, it's it, taken a while for me to get to where I'm at, okay, and what's Josh your name, man, Hunter, Hunter, Joshua, good to meet you, Joshua, hey, you too, man, um, I, and you, Sarah, Sarah. <laughs> pleasure, well, I wish you all the best, I do too, man, <laughs> I, I, I hate, do. I do too, I wish you all the best, <laughs> and I hope that I provoked your, uh, education, did you in just graduate, in a way, yeah, yeah. okay, yeah, yeah. right now, yep. you going to school here in town, Oh, you are! I actually, I started my Authentic Intep website, or uh -huh. YouTube channel, uh -huh. uh, doing uh, downtown U University of Minnesota conversations. A majority oh. of my episodes are from the U of M. Oh, cool. Yeah, so check them out, man. Sweet. Well, um... Maybe hey, I'll see you this fall. It was good to talk to you. Hey, you too, Hunter. <laughs> Take care. See you guys. Yeah, but what do you expect? They're... They're young, you know, and it's going to take some time. Hunter. And he threw his bottle of drink on the floor and littered. He littered on the floor. On my flat earth. Alright. Okay, guys. And we're back, hanging out, walking around again. That was... That was fun, challenging, I don't know all the answers. But he was not able to find a real picture of a satellite in space. And I did not buy him coffee. He did not feel confident. 
Hey, thanks, Days. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> uh, Hunter did not feel 100% confident in presenting to me a authentic picture of a satellite in space.